frightened. What are you? A bird? No, I'm a bird catcher, and what might you be? Since you ask, I am a prince. My father is a king. He rules over many lands and people, so I am a prince. You mean there are other lands beyond these mountains? Hundreds. Well, that sure would be good for business. <laughs> and what, my friend, is your business? I catch pretty birds for the star shimmering queen of the night and her ladies, and every day they bring me food and drink. Star shimmering queen? Have you seen her? Seen her? Seen the star shimmering queen? Huh? What mere mortal could claim to have seen her? Why is he looking at me like that? <laughs> <laughs> Back off, I have the strength of a giant. The strength of a... So it was you who killed the serpent and saved me. Serpent? <laughs> is, it, is it dead or alive? Dead. So tell me, how did you slay this monster? Well, take a look at these hands. <laughs> strength of it. That is for me. Here, fair ladies, I've brought you my birds. And in this thing, we give you this padlock, so you'll never again lie to strangers. Prince, please. And we have come to tell you that joy awaits you. Here, our great queen sends you this. A portrait of her daughter, Camina. Look upon your destiny. to save the fair Camina. If this young man's courage, she said, is equal to his tenderness, then my daughter Camina will be rescued. Rescue? Pamina? On my honor, I shall rescue her. <laughs>
all this be true, I swear on my honor to save the queen's daughter. Oh, I pray the gods do not deceive me.
nobody yet? We yeah. aren't going to tell them. Let him find out for himself. We will just pretend like we didn't know. We were just minding our own business. And he was so mean to her. He thought that if she married him, then he would become king. I hope she gets away. <coughs> Wait, how does Mary Kavita make Mata Stiles a king? Are you new out here? First day on the job. <laughs> uh, no, I this could take a while. Good night, Aunt Lord of the Sun, were married. What? They ruled night and day alongside one another in the heavens of harmony. And they had a baby girl named Camille, who they planned one day would inherit their throne. Especially if she found a worthy partner. But Queen of the Night and Sir Ostro grew apart. Sort of like a divorce. And now they don't get along at all. So, so Camina. Camina was living with her mother, but Sir Ostro wanted her to rule over his kingdom. But what, a, but what about Monstatos? So, Kamina is fated to find a worthy partner to rule the Sun Temple. And Monstatos thinks it's him. But, but it is definitely not him. <laughs> so we were hoping that she gets away. Slaves, come quickly! Oh no! He knows that she escaped. You there, fetch me chains! Chains? Kamina has been caught! Horrible sight! We, we cannot, cannot bear, bear it! it. himself as a prince. A prince? He so impressed your mother that she gave him your portrait and commanded him to rescue you. He obeyed at once for he had fallen in love with you. Fallen in love? And then three spirits came to help us. Did you say love? And we wandered through the forest <laughs> and then I got thirsty and well we got separated along the way. So the prince is near? <laughs> yes, your love is near. <sighs> what is wrong, Papageno? Sometimes I feel like ripping out all my feathers when I think that Papageno hasn't found a Papageno. Poor Papageno. <laughs> Have patience, friend. The gods will send you a nest mate. If only they would send her soon. Devotion and from 
Papagino, are you still with me? I am right here. Where do you think we are? Well, if it weren't so dark, I could tell you. <laughs> but help. What was that? This sort of thing is definitely not for me. I hear fear in your voice. Oh no, not fear exactly. Only ice cold shivers running up and down my back. Shame on you, Papagano. Stand up and show your courage. Oh, forget it. I'm a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Tamino, what do you seek? I seek the truth. Then give me your hand. Papageno, are you prepared to strive for wisdom? I don't much care for wisdom. <laughs> I'm a simple man. Sleep, food, maybe a beer. That's good enough for me. Unless you could help me find a girlfriend. That I should never do, unless you undergo the trials. Trials? To submit to all of our commands and not to shrink, even from death itself. Thanks, but I'll stay single. <laughs> and what if Sirachar has already destined a bride for you? A maiden who looks just like you, down to the last feather. Like me? Just like you. Is she my age? Yes, she's about your age. And her name? Papagena. Papagena. Oh, when do I get to see her? Wait. Once I've seen her, then do I have to suffer the trials with him? I'll stay single. Can you, you may see her, but you may not say a word to her. Can you control your tongue? Absolutely. <laughs> On you as well, young prince, the gods impose a vow of silence. You will see Pamina, but may not speak to her. Wow.
my plan. Be gone! Mother? Oh, mother! Where is the young man I sent to find you? He has torn himself to the temple, and I have followed him because I love him. Then you Together are... we will rule this kingdom. Then you are lost to me forever. No, mother, please. I will do anything not to be torn from you again. Please try to understand. You see this dagger? It has been sharpened for Sarastro. I once ruled both night and day, but he stole from me the sevenfold disc of the sun, and now he has stolen you. If you love me, you will kill him. But mother, why can't you rule together in harmony? <clears throat> that is impossible. You must kill him.
will never experience the highest realm of understanding, the exalted joy of the temple. The temple? For me, a good glass of wine will be exalted enough. Have you no loftier desires? Hmm. Not at the moment. <laughs> then your wish is granted. Why? Wow. Woo! Well, well, I guess I have everything I need. But there is still something missing. that I will always be true to you, at least until I spot a prettier dude. <laughs> I promise, cross my heart. Papagena. Papagena? <laughs> Away with you, young woman. He's not worthy of you yet. Just when I was getting warmed up. <laughs> I'm torn between my mother and my father. Tamina won't even speak to me, and I don't know why. Not even Papagena will talk to me. What am I to do?
Oh, now's the time. 